First day of summer. Got the garden all happening. Oh yeah. Dindins. Gotta like it. Anyways, I'm gonna show you my outdoor, the beginning stages of my outdoor kitchen. I'm gonna have a covered area here picnic table I gotta make up I got some fur I milled up some three inch boards and go towards that I uh, salvage this old cast iron sink and it's not hooked up yet but I'm gonna run a line over to the main line over there and have that set up and I made this two days ago. Tried it out. I want to do some gear hair bread on here. Let's try it out. I've done uh, uh, I've done a stew. I've done uh, a pizza. And now it's time for bread. Take one. Okay, I'll show you this. Let me get set up here. Oh yeah. Got my solar shower. It's a beer keg. And it's got a bag around it there to absorb some of the heat. This is gravity. I have a shower out here. Wash the dog. Oh yeah. And I was looking for my lighter. There it is. Okay, let's get her lit. It's easier just to throw it down the flue. Kind of put a new meaning to sticks. <laughs> Look, I see sticks. I want sticks. Oh, this is nice. It's, it was dead standing alder. This feels like balsa wood. Burns really clean, no sparks, and no smoke once you get it lit, once you get the heat up. Yeah, rockety goodness. <laughs> so, what is, here's the firebox. Yeah, the firebox and I have a stainless steel grill. This is four inch by four inch and I've sort of stepped it in there to make a smaller firebox just so it wouldn't get out of hand because you don't want the flames much more than, than that when it's max because it's for cooking. It's as a, Anyways, there's the uh, intake air and it comes up underneath the grill there and creates that sort of blowtorch effect. You're rushing underneath the fire coals and just whoosh, turbo. Yeah, let's get this baby going here. Yeah, and then I just feed them in. Through here. Uh oh. I don't want to do that quite yet. Ooh, a little bit of flames. Okay. 
There's the mean old bucky bops. Oh yeah. Been having a few meals from that already. Lots of stuff in there. Sun hole. And I find uh, the color here kind of goes gun blue at the bottom, and it's my seasoning on the side there, the shiny part. When that's creeping up to about there, it's about up to temperature. I want to get one of those laser probes there that detect the temperature, surface temperature. Okay, so what I've done, get this stainless lid here. Chunks on there. Camping bread. And it fits nicely right inside the Dutch oven. So that shields it the excess temperature there on the bottom and my bread dish gearhead bread <laughs> I got the raisins almonds uh, sunflower seeds sesame seeds Stoke it up. Now I have my ring I put on the top and load it with coals. Get going on that. clean up my bricks but, uh, I'm gonna clean up these sticks up here too all the dead ones up here clean it all up good rocket fuel charcoal briquette so all this is is fire bricks uh, I got three 8 by 8 by 16 cinder blocks, laid them on the side uh, as a base. Then I had two two inch concrete slabs, I put them on top, then started building my. Oh, gee, that was hot. My fire brick firebox on top of that. It's all just dry, there's no cement involved. Stacked it up, four inch by four inch, 
openings, as I say. And the flue size is also four by four. And just dug it right into the bank there, leveled it all off, stacked it up. It didn't take me more than a couple hours, really, after I dug the hole. And I figure about, I'll check it about 40 minutes. All you gotta do is get a tin ring here. I just put a couple of screws in it and turn my lid into a camp, camping lid that has the rim built in cast iron. It's actually a good way to go because it's easy to pull all your coals off. You just grab the ring and pull and it drags all the coals off. And a stock lid, it's you have to kind of, you know, flip it upside down, get rid of them or scoop them out. Did this rockery over the winter. I've been collecting rocks over the years. Just piled them up this bank all the way along. Knew I was going to get to it one day. I was, didn't realize it was going to take me like 15 years <laughs> to get to it. And here's all my leftover rocks here. I just piled them all up in, inside here and then added soil as I did it just to try and use them up. I didn't want to 
drag them away and hump them back into the truck and store them somewhere else. So that worked out pretty good. Things are just starting to grow in there now. It's all just dry stacked, no cement. And put it on a bit of an angle there so it doesn't topple over. And there's one of my compost piles on there. Another one here. Started. This one's got a lot of seaweed in it. I'll have to turn that pretty soon. Bunch of my car parts, hoods, fenders. And there's the existing outdoor kitchen. Looks kind of junky, but it's good for the summertime. This is a big cooler, fiberglass lined. Let's have a look. Okay, that's enough heat for the top. Another 10 minutes. Uh, there's 40 minutes. Oh yeah. A little darker on one side. I did forget to spin the lid. You should spin the lid like 180. A couple of three times maybe. And then spin the actual oven to four best results. I, I didn't do it this time, but let's check it out. I think that's good. Welding gloves. Oh, yeah. Hey, the lid's got a little hump on it, so I can lift the lid and give it a spin. <laughs> oh. Let's take a look. Mm, a little bit of blackness there, that looks good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yum yums. Mm. Oh man. Oh. Awesome. My mom? Gearhead bread. Outdoor Dutch oven. Beauty.